Here we have the CBOE or Chicago Board of Options Exchange. Basically what that is, is it's the world's largest trader of options and so forth, exchanging. And, and it has a bunch of education that you can use, it has information on the VIX, the CBOE, SPK, these are different exchanges. The X means the different types of exchanges. If you want to learn about the Russell 2000 index option, you can look at their information here. You want to do some education on that. You can do Option Trading 102, Investing for Beginners. You do the volatility products, about the VIX and so forth. And options for portfolio management. You can do educational tools down there. Option blogs, learning more about options and so forth. Essentially, this has anything you want to know about options and exchange of options and so forth. If you want to do thinkorswim, as we mentioned before, some of the options you have there. You can have Option House, you can have the some of the brokers that specifically work with options and so forth. You can do virtual option trading or vol volatility optimizer. You can look at that and say, okay, I want to just do a paper trade thing. As it shows up here, you can talk about options and trading, portfolio management. If you want to talk about investing and trading for college students, you can, do, you can look at that information. Essentially, what this is for is understanding the options and some of the ideas that they have, and a little bit of education about the options and institutes and so forth that CBOE has. If you want to take a look at the options that they the seminars and things that they have for option trading. It has a two-day seminar that they have. You can see the information there. If you want to go to that page, you get some more education on the other places that you can do for education for professionals and getting started and some online courses that they might have and webcasts that they can do other educational tools that they have for C CBOE option exchange. Now let's talk about the futures and option trading for what they call CME group. CME is the C Chicago Mercantile Exchange Group. Essentially what they do is do the futures and options and the tradings and so forth. You get some education on that for getting started or all their educational or simulating your trading. Some of the podcasts and video library information that they have. You can do managing your futures and learn what futures are and how they are regulated and some of the data they have on it. If you want to talk about more education, you can look at their marker reports and they're talking about iron ore, which is a futures and futures trading that you can do. You can get some of the latest information about that. You click on their little link here. If you want to do trading, you can talk about agriculture, you can talk about energy equity index, the forex or fx, interest rates that you can do, metals, options, over the counter, even weather and real estate can be traded as mercantile exchange group. If you want to get into their membership and trading and so forth, you do their incentive programs and what have you. It's basically a, a one-stop shopping center for understanding about agriculture, about the different mercantile exchanges, options, and the futures and things that they have on those things. For example, if you're looking at metals like gold and silver and so forth, the gold futures, the silver futures, copper futures, some gold options, silver options. You have different ways that you can buy and sell the, the pricing on that. It talks about the exchange that they use, how many people are into it, and so forth. I want to talk about the precious gold futures. You can look at that. You can talk about some of the information and news that they have on the gold futures and the iron ore and so forth, the aluminum, and basically it's a a place that you can talk about metal or cattle or wheat or anything like that. It's a, a mercantile or a buying and selling of exchange like they would for farming and so forth. That's a brief overview of their website. I hope you've enjoyed this lecture. And let's move on to the next one.